Did you know that the arts provide 75,000 jobs throughout the state of Michigan and they bring in $1.8 billion in revenue? Today, local arts and cultural organizations learn how they can get the support they need. Fox UP's Nikki Junowitz has the details. There's a new online system that's helping arts and cultural organizations help themselves. It's called the Cultural Data Project. It's an online database where arts and cultural organizations can enter all of their financial information in one place. This streamlines the sometimes tedious process of applying for grant money, which many arts organizations desperately need to survive. For the system, you only you put in the information once, and then you don't have to reformat your data for every time you apply for a grant. And a lot of small organizations, you're going for a $5,000 grant five or six times a year. And that's a lot of time just spent rearranging the same numbers. Today, 23 representatives from local arts organizations came together to learn how it works. Nina Wire Itner of the UP Children's Museum was one of them. In some organizations like mine, the budget part of re requesting funds is the, the most challenging for me. And so... I think this will make it easier for um, organizations like mine. She says the UP Children's Museum gets half of their budget from grant money. That's why it's so important that she know how to organize their financial information in a clear and consistent manner. You know, I can give you the, the, the whole soul of a project, the exciting reason why something should be funded. But oftentimes with, with, with funders, it's the dollars and cents that are really important, too. The system also has the ability to create statistical reports out of the information that organizations enter into the computer. That way, they can go back and analyze their own finances to see how they can improve. Reporting in Marquette, Nikki Junowitz, Fox, UP News.